Hey y'all, happy Monday. So we're gonna look this week continuing in Psalm 1 verse 2. And uh, let's just read that verse to start with and then we'll dig in. It says, but his delight and desire are in the law of the Lord and on his law, his precepts, the teachings, instructions of God, he habitually meditates, ponders and studies by day and by night. So we, we talked Friday, or we began talking about what a delight and desire is. And the desire is something we long for, that we hope for. And that is supposed to be the way that we crave, right? If you've ever had any um, cravings, or a lot of people have cravings during pregnancy, that they just have to have this thing. Um, and nothing else will satisfy right nothing else will satisfy that desire or that craving like that thing and that is how we are supposed to be over the law of the Lord which the law of the Lord is just his way of doing and being right it's it's his <laughs> his rule um, and we, we can find that in Matthew 5.33, which is something that we have read frequently. And I, uh, 6.33, not 5.33. But I, we all know the verse, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things will be added unto you. Well, of course, I love the Amplified Version, and it defines his righteousness as um, his way of doing and being right. God's way of doing and being right. That when we seek His way of doing and being right, everything else falls into place. And how simple is it in thought, but difficult can it be in execution that we seek Him first, that we go to Him first, that our desire is for Him first. You know, I think that's probably one reason that, um, you know, in the Ten Commandments, so let's just swing over there. This was not the direction I intended to go, but that's the way we're going to go. Um, you know, the very first um, commandment is, you shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart. I was looking. Um, let's see. Again, this is not where I was going to go. There you go. Exodus 20. Then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God who has brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. God's, of course, little g. You shall have no other gods before me. You should seek nothing else before me or over and above me. And, you know, a lot of times we, we do seek other things and other people first, not even realizing that we have placed it before God, that we are seeking something other than Him. But our delight and our desire, our craving is to be for Him and His way of doing and being right. You know... In the Old Testament, which of course this psalm was written, it's his delight and desire in the law of the Lord. That law is Torah. And so would have the Torah we know as in his his actual law were given laws in Leviticus, um, you know, how God stipulates in Exodus. I mean, all throughout the first few books of the Old Testament, that's that's the Torah. And so he tells us very specifically how we are to do things in order that it be acceptable in his sight. Well, we are not under the law anymore, but now the very Spirit of God dwells within us, and he still tells us very specifically what to do and how to do it, that it may be right and good. And so I think it's it's interesting, a couple of things. One, that the very first thing we do find out that this blessed one does is meditate in the law of the Lord, that he finds delight and desire in the law of the Lord. 
teachings, precepts, and instructions. And what we have just found out that the ungodly do is that they are seeking counsel, right, of the ungodly, following their advice, plans, and purposes. Where the we're looking at two different places of getting our information and our knowledge. The ungodly, the wicked, um, are looking at counsel that is not directed by the hands of God. And the very first thing, but the blessed one finds his delight and desire in God's way of doing and being right. And on that way, he meditates, ponders, and studies day and night. And we'll pick up here tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.